Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the demo of bank account simulation where we are showing the dashboard here. So user can see the deposits, expenses and current balance. Whenever we click on the deposits, it will be navigated to the deposit screen. If you click on expenses, it will be displayed expenses of each account. Also here we have provided the nav bar. If you expand this, you can click on dashboard. This is the dashboard view. Here you can click on accounts where you can create a new account by providing all the details. Also you can see accounts of all the users. Here we have provided the pagination can see this whenever user clicks on deposits and withdraw here you can update the amount and the type of either it's a deposit or withdrawal and you can provide the description of the transaction back to list here user can click on details where it will display all the transactions related to specific account in the header we are showing the account name and the account number and the transactions we are showing here here we are showing the transaction summary in graph so this is current balance it's a total deposits and we can see the withdrawal also so this is the withdrawal if you want you can add back to list here also let me go back to view accounts again so I can go to the transactions now where user can see all the transactions like deposits withdrawal all the transactions can see here and uh, this is the outstanding balance that is current balance total deposits minus total expenses so this is the current balance also we have provided two features to export to the excel and export to pdf here also in the header we are showing account details like name and account number then final one we have the transactions where we can see deposits of each account so only deposits will be displayed here you can see the description here we are showing the deposits order by uh, date descending order we are showing here and you can go to the transactions again here you can see the expenses so here in the end we are showing the total expenses here also in transactions deposits also we are showing the total deposit amount here for this we have created two projects here API and ASP.NET Core MVC we are going to use for user interface and we are going to use the entity framework core here this is the API project where we can see all the methods here to get all accounts so these are all the methods we are going to implement to get the data from .NET Core MVC project already we started this series of videos so you can find uh, in my youtube channel so we have uploaded uh, two parts of this series so i'm going to upload one by one to the accounts i'll try to create one account here so i'm giving this basic details like first name and last name without entering email account number I'm trying to create account it will say email field is required I'll give the email I'll try to so I have provided the email address so it's not valid let me correct all the validations are implemented here account number field is mandatory let me try one account so i'm trying with 10 digit account number we are validating so it should be a 12 digit account number so let me enter 
the initial balance also required i'll enter as 5000 there is no minimum initial balance here so we can give whatever required if required you can add this uh, minimum balance range also we can update let me create account so this account has been created now let me go to the accounts and uh, i'll see all view accounts i can see here suppose for this account as administrator i want to deposit amount or i want to update the withdrawal details let me click on this deposit let me add 5000 i'm updating the deposit details i can provide the check number here let me submit so the details has been updated here the balance total balance also updated if you want to see the transactions click on the details so we can see here it's a deposit 5000 and the check number also available here we have provided the features to see the deposit amount and this is the current balance what is the withdrawal amount if you want to hide deposit you can hide this deposit you can see withdrawal how much we withdrawn and what is the current balance so you can see this if you want to hide withdrawal also you can hide it i can enable the deposit okay this graph also we implemented and uh, let me go back to the transactions again view accounts i'll go to this again now i'm withdrawing amount here i'll withdraw i'll give self check here submit we can see the details this amount has been updated click on the details we can see withdrawal amount has been updated also you can notice here withdrawal amount has been changed instead of 4350 it changed to 5350 now let me go back to transactions again here we can see the details so this is the details already we had seen let me go back i want to see the transactions i'll click on the transactions so these are all the transactions done in my account here we can export data to excel click on the export to excel button data has been exported you can click on this excel file so you can see here account name will be there number what is the current balance and we can see all the transactions order by descending okay so this is the excel report we provided also we can export the data to pdf format let me click on export to pdf i'll open this here also you can see account details we provided the name number account number and the balance also here you can see all the transactions so we have provided multiple reports here so this is the current balance of this specific account number let me go back to the transactions here i can see only deposits so here if required we can add the name of the account holder and the account number and uh, expenses we can see here this is the list of expenses we have done I can go to the dashboard so from the dashboard also we can click on deposits so it will display all the deposits if I go back dashboard I can click on expenses here we can see the only expenses that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching